Hello everyone, my name is Majid Amini, a PhD student of mechanical engineering at the University of British Columbia in Canada. I am happy to present my work entitled of Advanced 3D Printed Conductive Polymer Nanocomposite for Electromagnetic Shieldings for IEEE Sensor 2021 Conference. The widespread application of electronic devices and consequently magnetic waves has raised uh, serious problems for live beings and other devices. The American uh, Academy the American Academy of Environmental Medicine has reported significant negative consequences for electromagnetic wave exposure. We can see here, uh, including developmental disruption, brain degeneration, and several other health-related issues. Moreover, electromagnetic interference or EMI may result in various electro electrical failures in aerospace electronics, medical public transportation, and industrial touchscreen. In this regard, developing effective EMI shields uh, material is utmost of importance. Also, the global EMI shielding market size is projected to grow from 5.46 uh, uh, billion dollars in uh, 2017 uh, to reach uh, 7.9 as we can see here, many researchers use metal as a, metals as an EMI shield, but they suffer from many drawbacks such as high weight, uh, high reflection, non-flexibility, and low, uh, high cost. Recently, conductive polymer nanocomposites have uh, attracted uh, a great deal of interest to be used for uh, EMI shielding applications, and very recently, uh, polymer conductives or conductive polymers uh, are used as a shield due to their lightweight, low-cost uh, resistance to corrosion and uh, flexibility. But as we know, there are numerous methods to form polymer nanocomposite, but one of the most important and reliable method is uh, 3D printing. In this method, we can form our polymer nanocomposite uh, in the complex shapes. It has a lot of advantages such as, uh, for example, we have a better quality, we can reduce development cost by reduce uh, labor cost, it's e easily accessible, we have less waste production and we can have unlimited shapes and geometry and finally the speed time to market is uh, so fast uh, and uh, we can have a creative design by this method. So. In this project, we use a 3D printing method to form our uh, film, our uh, nanocamp. Well, uh, as I mentioned, we use the 3D printing method, but uh, for nanocomposite preparation, I can say that first of all, uh, the CNT at various loadings such as 0.5, 2, 3 weight percentage was melt mixed with uh, the polylactic acid using twin screw extruder. We can see the schematic of this device uh, in the next slide. And finally, we use this filament as a feed for our 3D printing methods. And also we can see the schematic of the 3D printing in the next slides. And finally, we characterized our filaments using uh, several methods such as optical microscopy, uh, electrical conductivity, and EMI sheet. Here we can see the uh, extruder setup that used in this uh, study. And here we can see our 3D Finally, before characterize, uh, characterized our samples, we use hot press to prepare the samples for electrical conductivity. And as we can see here, we use, use this mold and this setup to uh, compressed our samples and the condition for compression molded was 200 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes under 38 mega. Here we can see the fabricated filaments at different CNT loading ranging from 0 to 5 weight percentage. As we can see here we have the pure PLA filaments, the uh, PLA containing five, uh, 0.5 weight percentage of the CNT and, for example, this one, 5 weight percentage of the CNT. As we can see in this picture, we have a uniform filament uh, by using the uh, twin correct. Well, uh, conducting network formation in the uh, polymeric nanocomposite is 
better understood with the concept of percolation threshold. At the percolation at the percolation threshold, the first conductive passive forms where the nanocomposite electrical conductivity increased dramatically. We can see here exactly in this point. Uh, we can see the drastic increase in, uh, at CNT loading of 0.5 weight percentage, uh, signifying uh, insulative to conductive uh, transition. Well, here we can see uh, the optical images of the of two samples as we can see here the filler dispersion is very good and this is the reason why we have a conductive passageway as we can see by adding filler concentration the agglomeration rate increased from 0 0.515 to 0 0.62 percentage and we can see some black points on this sample and this is because of the high load of uh, concentra uh, concentration and here we can see the oral shielding effectiveness of the compression molded nanocomposite at different concentration of the CNT and the thicknesses of one millimeters. We can see that at the three weight percentage of the CNT, the EMI SAE or total shielding effectiveness reached to 23 decibel, which is translated to shields more than 99.4 percentage of the incident waves. We can see the results here. By 3D printing, uh, printing the samples, we can see the EMI SAE decreases to around 20 or 19 decibel. This is, uh, can be due to several of the reasons, for example, uh, print resolution, infill density, or uh, processing parameters. Uh, as we can see in this uh, part, the left side of the slide, uh, we, have, we can see the difference, for example, in terms of density or infill dens density uh, for printed sample or molded sample. We have uh, the more dense, dense samples in molded sample. Well, for wrap up this project, I can say at low concentration of three weight percentage, we were able to produce high conductivity filament, making them uh, a versatile candidate for advanced EMI shielding applications. Our filaments at three weight percentage nanomaterials shows an EMI SAE of 23 decibel, equivalent to 99.4 uh, percentage of attenuation of EM waves. So, with the aid of 3D printing techniques, these filaments can be printed with complex shapes for the fabrication of the next generation of advanced EMI. Finally, we acknowledge the support of the National Science and the Engineering Research Council of Canada and CERC, and the others acknowledge the CERC's Okanagan Nation for the use of their traditional uh, territory, the land uh, on which the research was conducted, and uh, we acknowledge the MITEX for supporting this uh, project. And finally, the others are grateful to NPNL group member for supporting this project. Thank you so much. If you have any question, please go ahead.